What up, YouTube? What up? What up, babe? Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> you can do it. No, just kidding. Um. Anyways, got this cool hat from Savers. You guys never heard of Savers? 49ers, baby. Don't hit me. I'm waiting for traffic. Can you see? This lady's like, what the f are you doing? Anyways, so. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to roll. Let's go. Just got done rubbing the bank. Got done rubbing the bank. Rubbing the bank. Ross. Screw Ross. If you guys ever been to Savers, Savers is the spot, baby. It's the spot to go buy some clothes when you're broke as a joke. Just kidding, we're not broke, huh? We're millionaires. Right? No. Yeah, we are. Okay, so anyways, got this hat. Man, it hell, it's hella tight. It goes right along with my pink shirt. Look at my pink shirt. Don't laugh. What does it say? What does it say? Can you read? Because I can't read film and drive at the same time. That's too much. Don't laugh. It's your girlfriend's shirt. Yeah, so don't laugh. Because it's your girlfriend's shirt, all right? It's all about pink. The reason why I'm wearing a lot of pink this month is because, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, October is um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, you know, so you guys got to support, man. And, um... I saw this quote, I saw this bumper sticker, somebody put it up on their car and it said, uh, real men wear pink. So, you know, just a little heads up. If you think you're a real man, wear some pink. If you think you're a fake man, wear some red. <laughs> you get it, red, babe? Red? You know why, right? Anyways, for what? No. Red is just the color of the devil, man. Except for 49ers. 49ers is the only exception to wearing red. Besides that, it's all about pink or blue or whatever other color. But you guys notice the reason why I'm wearing my glasses is because right there, barely you can see that I had a black eye last night from playing some volleyball. So I'm wearing these glasses to kind of cover it up, even though these glasses are like kind of small on my head. They look like little kid glasses. I don't care. Damn, this hat can't fit. Dang it. Look, it's on the last button too. Sheesh, I got a big head. If you guys want to know what size your head is, go to like Gen X. Go to a hat store and um, they got those fitted caps those caps that are like without any of these buttons it's just straight material and it'll say right on the bill right on the bill it'll tell you what size your head is or like whatever cap fits your head perfect that's the size of your head so like I was at Gen X probably what was it babe like three months ago I was at Gen X like three months ago and trying to look for a hat that fit my head and I couldn't even find one and the biggest the biggest size they had was a size 7 and 3 4 6 or something like that no no they can't it was like 7 and 3 fifths but um, when I when I realized my head wasn't fitting I, was, I just gave up and the guy finally found a hat that was 8 was it 8? Or was it eight and? It was eight and Dang it! I forgot. I think my head size is a head. No, it, no, it's a head. It's a eight. My head size is a eight. Right? Because all the sizes were like seven and something. Huh? But anyways, so <clears throat> I got a big head, guys. Like you know, that's what she said. Whoa, whoa there, kind of overboard. Get your mind out of the gutter. Anyways, ah, oh, can't focus right now. Tonight we are gonna go see uh, Sinister, right? Yep. Sinister, which is supposed to be a really good, awesome, scary, scary movie. Um, 
you know, I read the reviews on it, and I think it's like, um, 9 out of 10 stars. Is that how they rate it? 4 out of 5 stars? Something like that. So, it's supposed to be really good. Um, New York Times gave it two thumbs up. Uh, John McClellan, who's one of the uh, all-time greatest critiques, gave it a 9 out of 10. And uh, that one dude named Usmeka, who's like the best critique of all time, says that it's probably going to be a 10 out of 10. So, I'll take his word over everyone else's word. We're going to go check that movie out. And if we have time, we're probably going to go bowling since, you know, I haven't tested out my bowling skills in a while. It's been a long time. Um, oh, yeah, back to the subject. Okay, pink. You guys got to wear pink this whole month of October because it's support, you know, the whole breast cancer awareness. Um, so, yeah. I support it a lot. This is actually, I think, the first time I've really got this active and supportive of breast cancer. Oh, man. Yes. Probably because, you know, just cancer in general hasn't really hit me as hard as it did this year. Um, you know, so it's a very touchy subject, but it's also something that. I wanted to talk about breast cancer awareness but also cancer in general um, you know just something it's bad to have and make sure you guys go see the doctors so they can you know see what the problem is before they you know see that there's something wrong with you so I'm gonna do that when I get old I'm in. Anyways, um, alright, well, today is Friday, I'm still stuck on, you know, I'm still motivated, losing weight, but I, I think I gotta up my, my losing weight scheme because I'm not losing as much as I um, want to so far. I think I've only lost like 15 pounds, if I could guess, probably be like 15 pounds, which is not even like close to what I, what my goal is. Because halfway of the month is like five days from now, and or like four days from now, and I need to be at 25 pounds lost. So um, I'll probably up 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 up. I mean, up my exercise, which means I need to get up in the morning instead of doing it at night because at night is not a good time to lose weight it's a good time to get in shape and all and like you know build your muscles or whatever but if you want to lose that fat you gotta um, you gotta get running on that empty stomach right when you wake up in the morning so I'm gonna set a goal to get up early in the morning and run so let's do this all right y'all peace out